Now to a developing story in Leroy. Last week, News 4 confirmed the area where a train derailed in the 1970s is contaminated with a potentially dangerous chemical. Tonight, we're digging deeper into the possible effects this could have on some members of the community. News 4's Ed Dranch is following up on this story tonight. Ed? Well, Diana, 30,000 gallons of that chemical quickly spilled into the ground, the water, and the soil. Now we're learning the effects are widespread from that chemical, from a simple headache, which is extreme, to the cancer. More than 40 years after the train derailment and chemical spill in Leroy, the site is still contaminated with a toxic chemical, trichloroethene, or TCE as it's known. More than 30,000 gallons spilled on that December morning. Paul Kostiniak, chair of the University at Buffalo Biotechnical and Clinical Lab Sciences Department, says the long-term effects of exposure could cause cancer. Several organs have been involved, in, including primarily the liver, but also kidney and potentially other types of tumors as well. The New York State Department of Health reports exposure to high levels of TCE could also affect the central nervous system and could cause developmental and reproductive problems. Now, risk goes up with potential exposure. So the degree of exposure really dictates the probability of getting a given effect. The contamination is isolated to a four mile area east of the 1970 accident site. The highest level of water contamination, according to a consulting agency, is near Need Road and Flint Hill Road. Dose makes the poison. So any compound can be poisonous in sufficient amount. But less and less of the chemical is found in water further away from the site. <laughs> <laughs> About four miles away is Leroy High School, where at least 15 cases of conversion disorder have been diagnosed. The community recruited famed environmental activist Aaron Brockovich, who's been looking for a connection. Both the diagnosing doctor and the EPA do not believe there is one. The EPA says the public is not at risk since neighbors have been taken off of well water. They are still running tests, however, of soil and other materials from the site to see if they're hazardous. No update has been released as to where those barrels will be disposed. Live in the newsroom tonight, Edge Ranch, News 4 at 530.